Hi all folks, this is Max from um, NexusSHacks.com. So we're gonna overclock our phone. Go download, uh, make sure you have CyanogenMod Mod 7 installed, this is for that. Um, we're gonna install a new kernel, it's called the NetArchy Nexus. Um, go download it, I have links to that. After you download the file, it's NetArchy-Nexus, blah blah blah. Uh, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna connect your phone as a USB drive alright and then just copy over the file to the net direct the root directory of your SD card as I did there and now it's copied over and we're gonna turn off USB storage and we're gonna go to ROM manager let me adjust the camera um, and then we're gonna we're gonna boot into recovery okay okay and boot into recovery and okay it'll and allow and it'll boot into recovery where we can manually install the new kernel this won't change the cyanogen mod rom other than the kernel itself and also you can get into the bootloader mode by turning your phone off holding down the volume up button and while holding down the volume up button you can hit the power button um, so this is gonna take like 30 seconds more. And what this will do is let you overclock it, I believe, to 1.44 gigahertz. I tried the other one, the Trinity kernel, and it was just, you know, it was unstable and my kept phone kept rebooting. But uh, this one hopefully will be stable and, you know, I'll be able to use my phone overclock. And also, we have that battle out between the G2 phone and the Nexus S coming soon, both overclocked, both with Cyanogen Mod 7 ROMs, which is going to be really cool, so watch out for that. Don't forget to hit that like button for us, and uh, there we go. We're going to go down to install zip from SD card, hit the power button, choose zip from SD card, hit the power button, go hit the NetArchy Nexus, hit the power button. Hit yes, hit the power button. Install in like five seconds. And go back. Reboot system now, hit the power button. And uh, we should have a. Uh, we're gonna go next install set CPU. Um, I'll walk you through that too. So I'll be back when it reboots. So next we're gonna copy over the set CPU. I have links on my blog post. Go connect it as a disk drive again. And, uh, uh, where did I put it? Uh, hold on. And, uh, you have this set CPU. If you unzip that file that I show you for the set CPU, you get this set CPU.apk file. And then simply copy it over to your SD card, like I did there. And we're going to go back to our phone. And we're just going to go install that APK file, which is very easy to do. Just go and uh, go to File Manager, and then hit on the Set CPU, and you'll get this install blocked. Don't worry. We're just going to hit Settings, and hit Unknown Sources. Hit OK. Go back, and we're going to open it up again, and it'll install it. Hit Install. And then we're going to open it, open, and hit the auto detect speeds on the second one, and hit OK. And then it will ask you for root, super user root access, just hit allow. And then hit OK. And then try to dial it up all the way to uh, 1400, 1400, uh, 1.4 gigahertz so now I've got it overclocked uh, or you can dial it down if you want okay maybe not okay what happened was that uh, I overclocked it to 1.4 gigahertz um, and my phone couldn't handle it depending on your phone it might be able to handle it so it's resetting now I'm gonna try to overclock it to maybe 1.2 gigahertz and then start go from there um, because you know every phone is different but uh, the one I have, I guess, um, right now I can't handle 
the 1.4 um, gigahertz. So I'll be back after he reboots. Hi all folks, so I think I overclocked it too much, so this time I'm going to try to do a little bit less. Okay, let's go to set CPU and bring this down. Um, bring it to 1.2 gigahertz, okay? So it's going to go up to 1.2 gigahertz on demand. Let me see how that does. Okay, it seems to be fine. Um, let me go up. Let's put it on performance. That way it's always on it just for testing. So I'm on 1.2 gigahertz. Um, I can try for 1.3, but I don't know. <laughs> I just want, I guess it's 1.4 is a little bit too much. So let me go a little bit. Uh oh. Okay. Let me try this. Get it to 1.3 gigahertz. All right, my phone didn't die, so I can do 1.3 gigahertz. Uh, pretty stable. I'm gonna set that back to on demand. So depending on your phone, you might be able to do 1.4, but I'm getting 1.3, pretty stable. I'm gonna set it on boot, so it's always running. Um, and uh, that's how you overclock your phone. Um, anyway, subscribe and I'll have more ROM reviews and more hacks. Check out uh, nexusshacks.com. Thanks. See y'all later.